we make them from diplomat to the minister's office, diplomat to the president's office, diplomat to the to the National Port Authority of Liberia, and diplomat to the airport. I think there's a lady here who's done some work with Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. So all of these uh, avenues, we provide access. And that's what our job is really about, is providing access for people like you who want to come and have the opportunity to explore business uh, activities. I think for me, the one assuring thing, reassuring thing is that now Liberia is a member of the WTO, the World Trade Organization. I think that's an important indicator in terms of our willingness and ability to get things done at an international level where we have benchmarks that we have to meet in order to stay within the WTO. While America is still trying to figure out if they want to be a member, WTO, Liberia is very proud to be one of the newest members of the WTO. We are also uh, active members of the SBA, the Small Business Association. All these things took time, but under the leadership of the foreign, uh, a former minister, Mr. Axel uh, Eddy, he made it his business to ensure that for Americans, you had comfort in some of these tools and accesses that would make your experience worthwhile and legitimate. So we believe that those are um, efforts that we can certainly uh, bring to bear, and we're fully prepared to do so. Awesome. Um, does anyone have any questions so far? Or are you going to follow up? Yes, Tanner? Uh, yes, I do. <coughs> I mean, new question, not based on what you already talked about. Okay, good. Um, I noticed, uh, thanks for the presentation, and we are glad to have you with us. In different countries in Africa, are at different levels of development. And some businesses in the U.S. might not be relevant in certain countries in Africa. My two questions are, one, what kind of incentives does Liberia offer to foreign investors? And two, what kind of businesses are more attractive or viable in Liberia for business owners from the United States? Okay, so the first one, uh, what are some of the incentives? There are tax incentives. Uh, there are also free trade zones um, in Liberia. And some of those indicators for me, certainly under this new administration, need to be more fully fleshed out. Mm -hmm. I do know under the former Minister of Commerce and Industry, the free trade zone was there for large commercial types of activities. So those are the things that I think we need to really get a better understanding on in this new administration. Where are they headed with that? The tax incentives are going to be there. There are some commodities, for example, like water, some of those things that are in country only for Liberians. So there's a list of about 10 to 20 that are, that are ice just cream. ice cream, some things like that that are just set aside for Liberians. But Liberians can go into joint ventures with Americans and others to help bring about these realities. So there are tax incentives, there's a free trade zone for people who are wanting these other kinds of incentives. And quite frankly, under the SBA, there are other kinds of shelters. When you talk about those financial shelters that come forward, there's an organization here, I'm trying to remember the name, that also works with you to ensure that when you make financial XM Bank. investments, XM Bank, XM Bank yeah. that, that, that will assure that your money is guaranteed. Those are the kinds of workshops for those of you who want that kind of information. You can have that as a second part, a hands-on workshop. Because those are the kinds of things that this new administration that I need to be clear on. I don't have all the answers, but those are the kinds of things we can certainly bring forward in a more in a smaller hands-on kind of seminar for seminars of this group and others who might have an interest. So would you say because